coverage of this Club Q tragedy. 11 News reporter Brian Sherrod joining us live in studio. Brian, I know that you knew two of the victims who were killed. You talked with their friends and their loved ones over the last seven months. Tell us their stories. Katie, Daniel Asted and Derek Rump were among the two friends of mine that were killed. As I was doing coverage of the shooting that same morning, that's when I found out from my friends that had happened. That back in November, I wanted to share who they were as people. Now, I spoke with friends Reuben Warren and co-worker Tierra Kelly. They tell me Derek and Daniel both had such warm personalities and would talk to any and everyone. Derek was actually the first person I met when I first moved here a year and a half ago. Both of them were known for helping new people in the LGBTQ community feel accepted. For them to just allow me into their world and to be a part of their family, it really sp uh, spoke about who they were. So I will miss them both. I think every bar needs to get them a Derek and a Daniel. <laughs> you definitely need to have a Derek and a Daniel. That were killed in the shooting were Kelly Loving, Ashley Paul, and Raymond Green. Kelly was a trans woman known for helping other trans women with how to be tough and move through the world. Ashley was a straight woman who leaves behind a husband and daughter. She was known as being a fantastic wife and mother with such a huge heart. And Raymond was known for being kind and selfless. He was also described as gifted, one of a kind, and willing to go help anyone in need. Now, all of them are known for being extraordinary people. I went to Denver Pride over the weekend where Club Q had a stand to remember the five lives lost. They sold pins, bricks, and flags. And Katie, you know, these are friends that I definitely do miss very much. So. I know, Brian, and I'm just crushed that you and anyone else in our community had to go through this. And I thank you so much for sharing their stories with us.